Hey, welcome to this science masterclass. Today we're going to learn about the levels of organisms. My name is Mr. Salagaris and this is part of my year eight science biology course. So cells are the building blocks of all life. Without those cells, there is no life. The human body is made up of approximately 10 trillion cells. That's more than 100 cells. Cells perform a range of functions. So specific cells do particular jobs, which we call functions in the body or in an organism. We need to now talk about different levels of organization. So within the body or within an organism, there's different levels um, that we need to talk about. Okay. They are cells, tissues, organs, systems, and then the organism itself. So an organism is made up of a range of systems. Those systems are made up of a number of organs. Those organs are made up of a range of types of tissues and tissues are made up of specific cells. Let me go through that in reverse order now. So cells such as nerve cells, muscle cells and red blood cells all do something special um, in the body. Okay, They make up or a part of tissue. Okay, So nervous cells are part of the nervous system muscle cells are part of the muscular skeletal system and red blood cells are part of the circulatory system. The nerve cells um, are designed to do a specific thing. That specific thing is to relay messages to the nervous system, okay, to tell it what to do. Um, these cells make up things called tissues. Tissues such as the skin tissue is made up of a range of different cells, okay. Um, let's move up the scale again. Organs such as the kidneys made up of a range of tissues. Those tissues are specific for the function of that kidney. So that kidney needs those types of tissues in order to do its job right. If it didn't have those, if there's some damage to those tissues, um, then that um, organ wouldn't work properly. If we look at an example of the heart, when you have a heart attack, what happens is that some of the muscles in that heart stop working or die. Without those muscles, the heart can't function properly and pump blood around the body. Okay, so those heart um, tissues, uh, sorry, those muscle tissues are super important to the function of that heart. Different organs make up different systems. So if I was to talk about, um, say, the circulatory system. Um, different organisms, uh, not organisms, organs within the circulatory system are things like the heart, blood vessels, and um, what else is part of it? Uh, blood vessels and the lungs. Okay. So those systems, there's, I think there's about eight different systems. They make up an organism. Without one of those systems, the organism doesn't function properly. Okay, so you can't have an organism or a human without the respiratory system. So the respiratory system, things like lungs and that, that organism doesn't work without that. Okay, so as you can see, each of these levels are important because um, they make up or contribute to the function of that um, part of the body. Okay, let's sum up what we've talked about. So cells, as you know now, are the building blocks of all life. There's lots of them in the body they perform a particular job. Um, there are different levels of organization from smallest, it goes cells, tissues, organs, systems, and then to the largest organisms. Okay, thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and add some comments. And most importantly, make sure you watch it again if there's a point that you missed. Thanks for watching. Again.